We could be holding up our light We could be fighting for what's right Or we could be falling to pieces Hey guys, all my boys and girls who love makeup Today I'm going to show you how you can get this metallic knight armor inspired really edgy and something I've never done before on this channel before and I'm really excited to show it to you guys so let's get started. I'm going to start by priming my eyes and this is by Jessie's Girl I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag. I'm going to put it all over my eyes and going to smooth that with my ring finger which is the weakest finger of all, of all your fingers. And let's zoom into my eyes. We're going to start with our eyes today. Now on my ring finger, I'm also going to load up a silver eyeshadow all over and I'm going to put it all over my eyelids. And taking my smoky eye palette from NYX, I'm going to take this black eyeshadow on my angle brush and I'm going to start going to layer it out. This is the hardest part actually. The tip for this is to, as you just saw, just follow the lower lash line and the tip of the wing, I would say, should go towards the end of your eyebrows. And also darken your inner corner using the same angle brush. I'm going to blend the black really, really well into the silver that will create a very beautiful blended look to your eyes. Now so using the same eyeshadow, we're going to layer the black just so it creates a very black and an intense wing and dip to the eyes. Now I'm going to take my frostiest and metallic blue eyeshadow that I own. This is from the M Cosmetics Life Palette and I'm going to use it to blend the black and the silver eyeshadows together. And this will also give it that metallic feel to the eyes. Now we're going to do the pretty much the exact same thing we did on the top. So I'm going to first begin with the silver eyeshadow on the lower lash line and I'm going to use the metallic blue on the only on the outer and the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm going to take my black eyeshadow again and we're going to connect the upper and lower lash line. And same with the blue, we're going to only put it on the outer and the inner corner of the lower lash line. And taking my e.l.f. glitter, I didn't show it to you guys because it's looking kind of all jabby and it's, it's kind of nasty looking so I didn't show it to you guys. But I'm going to put it on the center of my lids to give it more dimension and brightness to my eyes. Now let's work on the face, we're going to use Laura Mercier's foundation primer. She makes the best primers, the only con is her packaging sucks. But we're going to put it all over my face and it's my radiance one so it gives me a really nice glow. And oh my god, this is such an amazing foundation guys. This is this has to be hands down best foundation ever, just saying. It covers up all my blemishes, it's undetectable, it's natural, it's blendable. I love it, I love blending it with my stippling brush that has an extra long hair. So I can really really blend the foundation into my skin and it gives a really gorgeous natural look which I love. Now that we have a perfect canvas, let's brighten and conceal our imperfections and I'm going to use the built in concealer on my Too Cool For School CC Cream. I'm going to put it on my nose and on my dark circles on between my eyebrows to lift it up and I'm just going to use the same stippling brush to all blend it all in. And seriously, I don't think I can ever get bored with this highlighter. It's amazing. It's the Bond's Mary Luminizer. I'm going to need to use a liquid eyeliner and draw a cat line. Again, use the line that you already have with our eyeshadow. And I'm going to do a little different eyeliner than what you would usually see. Because I have monolids and I don't want to draw a three thick line all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to use this NYX liquid eyeliner. This is silver and I'm going to use it to give that little wit like texture on the metal. I'm going to put it on the center just so it gives more dimension as well. And on my waterline, on the one third of the inner corner, I'm going to use black. On the rest, I'm going to fill it in with white just so it gives me an almond shape and bigger eyes. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on. And I'm going to put my falsies on. Now I'm going to fill in my brows. This is Anastasia's brow ridge and you guys seen it. You guys know how to fill in your brows so we're going to go through it. Now I'm going to use my favorite bronzer. This is Give Me Some by 
MAC and I'm going to use my MB5 bronzer brush from Morphe which is the most amazing brush ever because this is probably my favorite brush ever really seriously. And for blush I'm going to use Luminoso from Milani with my Morphe E4 which again is amazing. And I'm going to put it on my apples on my cheeks and take it up to my temple and just finish it off my nose and everywhere else on my face. And I'm going to take a taupe eyeshadow and going to contour my nose. And for my highlight, I'm going to use this in Michelle Phan's Makeup Mood Enhancer. This is in Dewy Skin, which I'm just going to tap it on my high points on my face, which is my cheekbone. And it gives me a really illusion of a really healthy skin. And finishing off with a Kat Von D lipstick. This is my favorite. I got it from Sephora from Points. And it's just the perfect pink. It's like not too pink, not too new, not too matte, not too sad, you know. It's the perfect lipstick. 